Hi everybody, welcome back to the next installment of Commandos Week. And we are going to be playing Tank Commandos, which is kind of the inverse of the previous one we just played, where this time we're going to have the Germans as the main power and then Great Britain as the ally. And uh, if you like our content before we get into everything here, please consider supporting us on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash cards podcast. Or if you want to jump in and uh, interact with us at all, um, just hit us up on email, cardspodcast at gmail.com, or on Discord, Twitter, all those good things. So we'll just take a spin through Tank Commandos here quickly. We have a similar idea as Dark Commandos. Um, we have the regular number 10 Commandos, we got our Crusader, and we have Night Raid, which are kind of that central core of those Commando uh, ideas. Um, um, around it though, this time we're going German heavy. So blackouts here again, Sudden Strike makes an appearance. I don't like this card, but U375 is actually a pretty strong card. It's very similar to Blockade in the more British build. Um, some Panzer 38Ts, a little more card draw. Then we got the big boy Panzers up here at the top end, the 3J. We have a 4G. This one can get upgraded to any of the special Tigers or Panthers. That's a good spot for one there. I don't have one right now, so I'm going with the Panzer 4G instead. And then we have um, Admiral Hipper again and then the Panzer 4 F2s up here at the top of the curve. That's what the curve looks like. And uh, let's get after it. Similar idea, keep the opponent kind of off balance, keep drawing cards, and uh, get into their HQ with some big, big old tanks. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, so our first game up here with Tank Commandos and we're up against Lance again. So they were playing, I think, a version of Burn last time. Um, these all look pretty good to me though, so we'll keep that for the opening hand. Uh, we get a little bit of card draw and blackout and the tactical strikes. The commandos themselves can help pick off any infantry that are out there. Then the Eagles Claws can sweep up some infantry as well. Um, the one thing for commandos in this version is they're pretty fragile. They only have the one defense, and uh, if they have any damage based removal, then we could be in trouble. So we'll just say greetings to Lance here. Um, type 93 for them to start. Hmm, um, well, I think we're just going to stand pat for now. We'll hold on to our blackout just in case some Hayabusa's make an appearance. Oh, type 93, moving up and in. That's fine. Please our sudden strike. Get rid of it. Type 93 is a dangerous card in burn as well with that full team pump every time. Okay, so a big one for our opponent, the 15 centimeter auto cannon. Um, we can't get rid of it to start here just yet. We actually want to hold on to our Eagle's Claws here and try and pick up multiple for one. So instead, I think we're just going to use a Naval Power on it just to kind of negate their turn there. And that's a great example of tempo. Like uh, we were talking about on the podcast last week, you know, we essentially just negated their turn three and got a little bit of uh, HP bump to our HQ. So now we'll tactical strike and that takes care of another pretty big threat out of their deck. Pass the turn. Alright, so Hayabusa makes an appearance. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I think we're going to go with our first commando here and then we're going to go blackout. Pin that Hayabusa. And then we have all kinds of Eagle's Claws coming here in just a little bit. So in next turn, we can play a Panzer IV. So we're feeling pretty good right now, even if our commando goes down, which they take it out with a Tora Tora Tora. All right, so another Hayabusa. We get another Blackout, so that's good. Um, let's see. Let's, do, let's hold on to our Panzer for a second since we drew a Blackout. So I think we're going to go Night Raid. Should we go not? Should we go Night Raid? Hmm. Because we have attacked. Uh, I think when we're, we're going to go Night Raid. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do. We'll go Night Raid right now. And then we'll go Blackout to pin the Hayabusas. And we get another Commando. And next turn we can Eagle's Claws, depending on what they play here. And hopefully Nab 
the other Hayabusa. All right, so they have a naval operations to take out our commando, which is a pain, but that's how it goes. Okay, so in this spot here, <laughs> Crusader doesn't do much because we have all German orders in hand. Um, we're definitely going to play our blackout, though. The question is, do we use the Panzer to push everything back? I don't think so. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go Commando to start. Then we're going to go blackout. Okay, we we're kind of hoping to pick to hit this other Hayabusa at this point. Um, so I think instead we'll use a sudden strike on the Me Too regiment and try and pick off one of these Hayabusas. Okay, that works. Since they're pinned, we can hold on to our Eagle's Claws for another turn and then sweep them both up. All right, so they got the big bomber out there. They go for our HQ to just take out our commandos, but that's okay. And we can still kind of sweep all this up and go, it'll be a three for two. Well, it'll pro and uh, that's great. That's excellent. That's actually, unfortunately, kind of a mistake for Lance here because now we can go Eagle's Claws, three for one. And Let's see, then let's also go Tactical Strike and draw a card. And we get another Panzer. And now they're down to two cards in hand. We have multiple big tanks coming their way. So an Air Blitz. Oh, and a Last Rites. Last Rites a very good card. So we gotta make, we gotta make hay while the sun is shining here. So let's get our Panzer out there. We're, we still have 10 HQ hit points, though, so actually I th you know, we have to hold on to the blackout just in case they have more Hayabusas or another bomber. Haven't got to use our Crusaders yet. We haven't drawn a lot of our British orders that we have in here. That might be a little bit of a weak spot with this build of this deck. Those Crusaders are a little more um, conditional in this one because we just have less British cards to work with in this one. So if you're trying to build a deck similar to this, you can use just the commando part of the engine and make up for it with German orders. And okay, no play by our opponent there. It's interesting. All right, we're going to get an attack in. And even though we don't take anything out with this Panzer, um, let's target an enemy unit. Oh, I thought they made these so... Oh, okay. Target. Okay, so we have to make our own unit retreat just to get that out there. But now we have some more beef on the battlefield. So, kamikaze number one. They got seven more. Okay. They have an Akita. Oh, and they draw a couple cards, so that kind of stinks. All right, another kamikaze. Okay, that's three. Rising sun. All right, and an air blitz. Hmm, that really stunk. All right, but we do get a little bit of help here. All right, so we're going to play our Crusader, get a naval power to get some more HQ hit points. All right, then we're going to... Um, let's see, let's attack this 15th Cav. Move our Panzer up, and we have to pass a turn. We have six hit points now. All right, so they sudden strike our crusader. That's fine. Okay, no, no problems here. All right. So now we can Panzer four back the Jade Division. Move up and attack, and then let's force our opponent to discard. Okay, so we get the bomber. So that helps. So they have a Jade Division in hand. They have to hit a ton of runners in a row to get past us here or a Tasagi regiment would really hurt us too. So, opponent thinking it over. They go Jade Division. All right, and we get the win. So let's move up our Panzer, attack, and attack. So a little, little bit closer than we would have liked there, but we found the way to victory. So a win for the tank commandos. All right, back here for game number two with Tank Commandos. So we're against Marduk, who 
uh, was is actually one of our supporters on Patreon. So thank you, Marduk, for supporting us on Patreon. Um, here, who it's a really good hand if we draw into some units that support it. Hmm. I we'll try it. We'll try it against Marduk here. He's a pretty good player though, so hopefully we don't regret our choices at this point. But they're playing a. Uh, the, or they're playing uh, Stalingrad, so they're playing the Soviets, so maybe mid-range or self-destruct or maybe uh, tokens, but I would guess self-destruct if we're seeing an I-15. Um, let's see. We do want to put that back in their hand, so let's do that. End the turn. All right, I-15 comes back down, and then they red banner it right away, so they're on the self-destruct game plan. That's fine. Okay, I like I like what we're, what we're up against at this point. Um, I think we're going to tactical strike the guard unit to start, draw a card. All right, we're feeling a little bit better now, seeing um, what they're on and what we've drawn into, so... Zukov now, so that's a little bit of a pain. Let's see if they play another unit out there. We'd love to see a Crusader off the top here, actually. Okay, U two three or U three seventy five doesn't help that much, but it's not that bad either. So we're gonna play a Commando, and we're gonna play a U three seventy five. Get an enemy spotted, which actually wouldn't have helped them that much. All right, then we'll black out down the I-16. All right, we got an Admiral Hipper, so we're feeling pretty good. Um, the one thing, though, Soviets tend to have a ton of damage removal. All right, so an 85. All right, so there's your damage removal, Bloody Sickle. Okay. Hmm. We don't really have any backup units here. Hmm. We really, well... Do we want to put that T30 or the T34 back in their hand and let them draw? I think we have to. So let's do that. Put that back in their hand, let them draw, and we'll do a blackout again. All right, so we get a commando. That's helpful. End the turn. We'd really like to have seen a crusader there to draw a couple. All right, so they get a T30 or a KV1 out there for themselves. So let's do a commando and then we'll Admiral Hipper back the KV. And we're just not getting lucky on our coin flips for that I-16. So they don't get the draw card here, but they have all kinds of cards in hand. And this one's going to be tough. We kept a 50-50 opening hand here. All right, from the people. So we're going to need some help to get out of this one, and we're just not really finding it just yet. We need our tanks, is what we really need. All right, let's take out that I-16. All right, Eagle's Claw. I mean, we have good cards in hand that can handle things they put out there, but... All right, that hurts. Yep, good play there. The yeah, I-16. Yep. Okay. That's troublesome, but... Alright, so we can do some things here. So let's Night Raid. Okay. Good. Let's uh, Bloody Sickle. Okay. Then let's put the... Um, the T-34 back in their hand. And then let's Black Out just to draw a card. Okay, now we're getting some tanks that we can work with here. That That's very helpful. We really would have liked to have seen those guys before. All right, Bloody Sickle on our commandos. T-34 is back. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, we really got to put the T-34 back in their hand. And then let's see if we can discard and nab something. All right, Awoken Giant. They're playing a very similar build to what we played on what I am playing last week. Um, can we sudden strike this thing? We can? Wait a minute. We can sudden strike that? Um, 
I think we just found a bug there. So we'll pass the turn. I mean, we'll take advantage of it, I guess, but yeah, we'll just, I'm just keeping notes here. So, so Marduk, if you're watching this and can hear me, apologies, but um, I think we found a sudden strike bug there. Just write that down quick. Okay. All right, let's get another Panzer out there. Put that T-34 back in their hand and the turn. All right, so they go T-34 and a death from above. Good play. Um, we're running out of gas here a little bit. We can get some attacks in, but um, without a couple of runners off the top of our deck, we're looking pretty rough. So another, another from the people, and another from the people. So, yep, it looks pretty rough for us here. We really need... Well, that would have helped a lot, but uh, might be a little too little too late. So we'll see. Um, I would imagine the T-34 is going to go after our HQ. And Siberian Transfer is going to win it for Marduk here. So we go down and defeat this time. Kept a 50-50 opening hand. A little iffy there. Uh, saw the bug with Sudden Strike, so, uh, you know, we kind of deserve to take a loss there between the opening hand and then kind of taking a, a bug to, <laughs> to keep us in it. So, oh well, on to the next one. Alright, so we're going to try and get, get a number three in here for our tank commandos. And sure, this looks like a pretty good opening hand. We'll keep that. We'd like to see a little bit more removal. And we're playing against a Turin Turambar. And it looks like they're on some version of burn, which is always a pain. Um, so we have to pass the turn here to start. So we're a step slow. We would like to have had a sudden strike there. They'll draw a couple with Rising Sun. Draw a couple more with Rising Sun. I would imagine they're going to get an attack in here. They did not get the attack in. So, and being a little cheeky, yeah. So let's go with uh, Commando number one and a blackout. Draw a card, yes, and we get lucky and we pick off that 15th cavalry. So let's pass through, and the enemy surrendered. So they kind of do the, the shame scoop. So we do get the two one there. We'll include this one, but we will, um, do a bonus uh, bonus one with this deck just because we didn't get the play there all that much. But you did see kind of the power of Commando into Blackout. So we'll play one more. All right, so kind of like game three and a half here uh, with our Tank Commandos deck. We're up against Field Engineering action. We'll throw our Panzer back. We don't need that really to start. We're playing against a British player though, so we might have some more time. Been playing against, uh, we played against a couple of burn players already, so we'll see how this one goes. Okay, we might not have as much time as we thought. Um, the Gladiator Mark One, there is a deck out there in is uh, British Japanese and it plays a lot of planes, so I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing some naval supports here out of our opponent. These two, uh, both the Fifth Brigade and the Gladiator, really like naval support, so. Um, let's play a blackout just to draw a card. Because if the 5th Brigade moves up, then, then we want to wait until we see... Alright, so that was a quick cup of tea there from our opponent. And what we really want to see out of them is that naval support. But right now, I think we're going to get rid of this 5th Brigade while we have the opportunity. Because right now, they're down to three cards in hand, and we have a naval power. So we might take a, a, a punch, but we're not going to get knocked out just yet. Hmm. Alright. Next up, we're going to take out that uh, anti-aircraft gun. Alright, then the Panzer can handle the Gladiator in a couple of turns. We also have an Admiral Hipper to help us out. Alright, there's, there's the naval support. 
So there's naval support, so we got to take care of that gladiator now. Um, I think we just go Admiral Hipper. Put it back in their hand. They don't get to draw. That, both of those are fine. Okay, feeling good here. Um, we're going to get a little bit low, but usually these decks don't have direct burn on the HQ. So let's start out by blowing up the Gladiator with a Panzer. And they're down to two cards in hand, so maybe next turn we can use a U-375. If they don't play a card here, great. Okay, great. We're, we're looking really, really good now. So we use U-375, get rid of the last card they have in hand. Then we'll use our Sudden Strike on the Baluk Regiment. And we'll play a Panzer 38T to draw a card, and we're going to pass the turn. So it looks like we're going to get, we're feeling pretty good at this point. They pass back very quickly there, but uh, we ran them out of cards. Uh, we have a 30, Panzer 38, which we're going to get some attacks in with. We have a Panzer 3J, which we have in the front line now, so feeling pretty good. All right, Hammer takes care of one Panzer. All right, and then they have a Mosquito for the other. Hmm. Okay, I mean, we can keep just putting that back in their hand forever. Um, but right now, I think what we're going to do instead, since we drew the Panzer 3J, we're going to take out, take out their Mosquito, get them back into top deck mode. All right, so let's get an attack, and they surrender. So there we go. So we'll count that as another nice win for us here with the tank commandos, and we end up 3-1. and one. Um, We'll be back to wrap it all up in just a second. All right, so we're back here to wrap it up with tank commandos, the other half of our German-British commandos builds. Um, pretty successful run again. We got uh, three wins and we lost our one to Marduk. Uh, we kind of kept a 50-50 hand there to start. Um, but, you know, can't win every single game. So three and one with that one. Um, overall, the combina combination of uh, tank commandos and dark commandos, we ended up going six and one with. So this German-British uh, combination looks pretty potent. Um, one thing I might recommend for tank commandos is consider taking out the Crusaders and going with uh, maybe a Mosquito or even stuff like Skuas or something like that, if you have them, uh, because it'll give you a little more... Um, board affecting presence as a, or battlefield affecting presence as opposed to the crusader which is good but we don't really have the amount of british order support in this build to make it as effective as it could be so that's something to consider um like i said in the opener to uh, upgrading this panzer 4g spot might be <laughs> might be um an opportunity to uh, get an upgrade in Eagle's Claws might be another one. Maybe you only need two or so in this deck, so that might be an upgrade area. But overall, you know, even the, the little combination of the number 10 commandos and blackout, you can kind of see the synergy. It, it's kind of, it's two cards that um, individually are really good, but then you put them together and they really add up to more than what you put into them. Pinning all air units and drawing a card plus getting an extra ping in somewhere, that's pretty good little potent combination there. That's a standard and a limited card, so that's something to keep in mind uh, when you're working on building these kind of things is a lot of the parts of this deck especially are you know, there's no elite, there's one elite card in here, and that's Admiral Hipper, which you could definitely substitute something in for. The rest of this deck is a couple of, you know, four specials, two of which aren't really even that integral to what you're doing. 
you know, these Crusaders, you can switch them out for something easily. So this is a pretty attainable deck, I think, and pretty effective. So something to keep in mind when you're when you're starting out and you're building these kind of things. Maybe something like Tank Commandos is for you if you have the, the cards for it. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you. Please consider supporting us on Patreon, following along with the website and the podcast, and uh, come back for the next installments of Commando Week, um, you know, whenever you have the opportunity to do so. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.